This video is for all the professionals working on the profile of bus drivers, subway operators and other transit operators and are willing to migrate to or work in Canada. It will provide you an in-depth knowledge about the National Occupational Classification Code of Bus Drivers, Subway Operators and other Transit Operators. So, let's start the video. Hi, I am Smith and welcome to our channel A2Z Immigration Updates we make informational and latest news videos regarding global immigration. Watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon, so that you can get the most updated immigration news and information. In Canada every skill profile has a unique code that is called National Occupational Classification Code or NOC Code. This code tells us about the detailed information associated with a profile and regarding the key parameters like Profile Description or Profile Lead Statements Key Responsibility Area and Main Job Duties Employment requirements, alternative and illustrative job titles, job titles in exclusion. So, first of all let's see the NOC code and its description for the profile of this video. The National Occupation Classification Code or NOC code for the profile of bus drivers, subway operators, and other transit operators is 7512. As per Statistics Canada, the profile description of bus drivers, subway operators, and other transit operators is as follows. This unit group includes workers who drive buses and operate streetcars, subway trains, and light rail transit vehicles to transport passengers on established routes. Bus drivers are employed by urban transit systems, school boards, or transportation authorities and private transportation companies. Streetcar, subway, and light rail transit operators are employed by urban transit systems. Key Responsibility Area Human Resources and Skill Development Canada has defined a proper set of job roles for every NOC code. There is not any fixed guideline for meeting all the requirements. As per the recommendation of experts a person should meet at least 50% of the job responsibilities mentioned in the NOC code. Now let's discuss the key job responsibilities associated with your profile. So, here we go. Main job duties of in bus drivers, subway operators, and other transit operators are as follows. Drive buses or streetcars to transport passengers along established routes to local destinations. Drive buses to transport passengers and goods to intercity or long-distance destinations. Drive sightseeing tour buses to transport passengers locally or over long distances. Drive buses equipped for wheelchair accessibility, and aid passengers in boarding. Provide passengers with information on fares, schedules and stops. Collect fares, issue and validate transfers, check bus passes and record transactions. Conduct pre-trip and post-trip inspections of vehicle. Communicate with passengers, dispatchers, or other drivers using two-way radio systems. Report delays, mechanical problems and accidents. May provide information on points of interest during sightseeing tours. May load and unload passengers' luggage and express freight. School bus drivers perform some or all of the following duties. Drive school buses to transport children between school and home or on excursions. Ensure children's safety when boarding and leaving buses and crossing street while buses stopped. Maintain control of student activities during travel to prevent distractions or behaviors that could compromise safety. May transport adults outside of school hours on chartered trips. Subway train and light rail transit operators perform some or all of the following duties. Operate subway or rail transit vehicles as part of two-person crew. Observe signals at crossings and arrival and departure points. Operate controls to open and close transit vehicle doors. Report delays, malfunctions, and accidents to control unit. Ensure passenger safety and welfare in emergencies, and direct passengers during evacuation procedures. Employment requirements and other additional information. In this section we will discuss the employment requirements for your profile. Every job has a specific set of employment requirements associated with it. The main employment requirements factors includes 1. Type and level of formal education 2. Specific training or apprenticeship 
3. Experience in the same or other related occupations. 4. Licenses certification and registration to practice in a regulated profession, extra. Before moving further let's understand the employment eligibility requirements and other additional information associated with your profile. Following are employment requirements for the profile of bus drivers, subway operators, and other transit operators. Completion of secondary school is usually required. Up to three months of on-the-job training, including classroom instruction, is usually provided for all occupations in this unit group. A minimum of one year of safe driving experience is required. Bus drivers require a Class B, C, E, or F driver's license in Ontario, and a Class 2 driver's license is required in all other provinces and the territories. An air brakes endorsement and first aid certificate may be required. Experience as a public transit bus driver is usually required for subway and light rail transit operators. Illustrative job titles and exclusions. Every job role or employment can have multiple profile titles. So if you are not able to find the exact job title for your profile then you need not to worry. Now we will see the list of illustrative and alternative titles for your profile. This section is a list of titles commonly used in the labor market. We will also see the exclusions list that is the list of titles that cannot be covered under your profile. So let's have a glimpse of it. Illustrative titles for the profile of bus drivers, subway operators, and other transit operators are as follows. Bus driver. Bus operator. Light rail transit operator. Motor coach driver. The list is quite large, so, if you want to read all the alternative profile titles then you can pause this video and can have a proper glimpse. Now let's see the exclusion list. Supervisors and inspectors of bus drivers, subway operators, and other transit operators, C7305 supervisors, motor transport, and other ground transit operators. So, this was all about the profile of bus drivers, subway operators, and other transit operators with NOC code, 7512. We at Brain Brain Consultants Private Limited helps you to migrate to Canada on work permit or on PR. Our motive is to convert your immigration dreams into reality. We assist you in Canadian style resume and cover letter preparation. Mapping the best employment opportunities with your skill set. Employment consultation and job search. Online skill profile preparation and branding. Education credential assessment filing Canada. Migration skill assessment filing Australia. Expression of Interest, EUI, Filing, LMIA, Work Visa, PR, Business Visa Filing. If you need any further information, then you can contact our team of expert registered migration and employment consultants. Our team will help you to explore the employment, work visa and other immigration opportunities for your profile in Canada and Australia. Click on the booking link mentioned in the description to reserve an expert session for a detailed discussion to explore your immigration opportunities. We also assist employers to file LMIA with Employment and Social Development Canada ESDC. So if you are an employer in Canada we can help you to get the best manpower for your company. Canadian immigration is a merit-based immigration process and your selection under most of the immigration programs depends upon your age, education, experience. English language capability, spouses educations and experience, employment availability through LMIA, provincial nomination extra. We at Brain Drain Consultants Private Limited provide a one-stop online platform with all kind of immigration services for our global customers. You can have online consultancy sessions, assessment application filing and all kind of visa processing assistance by our team of experts. If you want to do a self-assessment and check your eligibility for immigration, then click on the link attached in the description and download our app to do your immigration assessment yourself. Also watch our other videos related to work visa filing and finding a job in Canada from your home country. So, if you like our video then don't forget to subscribe, like and share our YouTube channel. Also hit the bell icon to get the most updated information regarding global immigration. Thanks, and we will meet again with one another informative video soon.